Welcome, dear brothers and sisters, to Mother and Refuge of the End Times. The following is an article published on July the 29th, 2022, in the Sun Star. Cervantes, all nations will be punished because sin has spread all over the world. Belief that we are in biblical apocalyptic days pervades not only among Catholics, yet the atmosphere worldwide has remained largely far from spirituality. Amid the signs of the times, movie directors are again churning out movies, beauty contests have mushroomed anew, business concerns have expanded online, and so on and so forth, as if the world will go on as usual, regardless of pandemic or wars. Those who are taking the warnings from heaven seriously are few. This we know in the internet through the paltry number of views and followings of religious YouTube videos and other such outlets as compared to the support by the millions even for even erstwhile anonymous people gaining instant popularity over antics far from and, at times, contrary to religion. Still, there is a need to heed the call of heaven to spread messages from credible mystics, so that as the messages themselves stress, more and more people may prepare. Because some people tend to dismiss prophecies of those still unapproved by the Church, I have been running a series on the prophecies of Sister Elena Aiello, 1995-1961, who was declared blessed on September 14th, 2011. The following is the third part of the series. On April 7th, 1950, Elena asked the Blessed Mother amid revelations on chastisements facing the world, What will become of Italy? Will Rome be saved? The Blessed Mother answered, in part by the Pope. The Church will be in travail, but the forces of hell cannot prevail. You must suffer for the Pope and Christ, and thus Christ will be safe on earth, and the Pope with his redemptive word will in part save the world. Then the Blessed Mother showed Elena the flames of hell, and said, Satan reigns and triumphs on earth. See how the souls are falling into hell. See how high the flames are, and the souls who fall into them like flakes of snow, looking like transparent embers. How many sparks, how many cries of hate and of despair, how much pain. The Blessed Mother went on as follows. See how many priestly souls, look at the sign of their consecration in their transparent hands. In the palms of their hands the sign of the cross in more vivid fire could clearly be seen. What torture, my daughter, and my maternal heart! Great is my sorrow to see that men do not change. The justice of the Father requires reparation, otherwise many will be lost. See how Russia will burn, and all this fire is not that which will fall from the hands of men, but will be hurled directly from the angels, at a time of the great chastisement or purification that will come upon the earth. Therefore I ask prayers, penance, and sacrifice, so I may act as mediatrix for my son in order to save souls. Elena received another message from the Blessed Mother on March the 23rd, 1961. The message, My daughter, the scourge is near. Much is spoken of peace, but all the world will soon be at war, and the streets will be stained with blood. No gleam of light is seen in the world because men live in the darkness of error and the enormous weight of sin angers the justice of God. All nations will be punished, because sin has spread all over the world. Tremendous will be the punishments, because man has arrived at an insupportable contest with his God and Father, and has exasperated his infinite goodness. My heart bleeds for Italy also, which will be safe only in part for the Pope. Oh, what grief to see the representative of Christ on earth hated, persecuted, outraged, He who is the spiritual father of the people, the defender of the faith and of truth, whose face, radiant with light, shines upon the world, is greatly hated. He who personifies Christ on earth, doing good for all, becomes thus outraged with impunity. Many iniquitous and wicked leaders of the people who live and drag along with them their people outside the laws of God, showing themselves in sheep's clothing while being rapacious wolves have ruined society, stirring it up against God and His church. How can the world be saved from the disaster that is about to crash down upon the misleading nations if man does not repent of his errors and failings? The only salvation is a complete repentance and return to God, and a true devotion to my Immaculate Heart, particularly in the daily recitation of my rosary. 
once there was chastisement by water, but if there is not a returning to God, there will come the chastisement by fire, which will cover the streets of the world with blood. My daughter, cry out loudly, and let it be known to all, that if they do not return to God, Italy too will only in part be safe for the Pope. My heart of mother and mediatrix of men, close to the mercy of God, invites with many manifestations and many signs the people to penance and to pardon. But if they respond with a storm of hate, blasphemies and sacrilegious profanations, as if blinded by an infernal rage, I wish prayers and penance in order that I may again obtain mercy and salvation for many souls. Otherwise, they will be lost. On December the 8th, 1956, the Blessed Mother also said, The world today is honoring me, but my motherly heart is bleeding because the enemy is at our doors. Men are offending God too much. If I were to show you the number of sins committed in a single day, you would die of horror and sorrow. The sins that distress God the most are those of the souls who should perfume the air with the fragrance of their virtues. Instead, they contaminate by their sinful lives those who come near them. The times are grievous. The whole world is in turmoil because it has become worse than at any time of the deluge. Everything is in suspense like a thread. When this thread breaks, the justice of God will fall like a thunderbolt and will complete its terrible course of purification. Italy, my daughter, will be humiliated, purified in blood and must suffer much because many are the sins of this beloved country, seat of the Vicar of Christ. You cannot imagine what will happen. In those sad days, there will be much anguish and weeping. There will be a great revolution and streets will be red with blood. The Pope will suffer much and all this suffering will be like an agony which will shorten his earthly pilgrimage. His successor will guide the boat in the tempest. Note, it is not clear which Pope has been referred to here. However, the punishment of the impious will not be delayed. That day will be the most fearful in the world. The earth will tremble. All humanity will be shaken. The wicked and the obstinate will perish in the tremendous severity of the justice of the Lord. Launch at once a message into the world to advise men to return to God by prayers and penances and to come with confidence to my Immaculate Heart. My intercession must be shown because I am the Mother of God, of the just and of sinners. Through prayer and penance, my mercy will be able to hold back the hand of God's justice. To be continued. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us. Thank you for watching Mother and Refuge of the End Times. Please see our new prayer book, Pieta of the Apocalypse. Follow the link for the details.